this isn't up to their usual standard. I've seen this four times already. Eh, I've seen better. That crazy Osaram tried to kill our son. Thank you. <laughs> Not enough fight in this one. I can use this. You'll do.
That's it. This area will be a little safer now, at least. Not much farther now. All it said he found an image of a woman that resembled on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Norland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again. Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better, but be wary. Maker's End is calling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show your location. Who is he, and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, no. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? Kit dry.
Someone trying to get my attention? I found this. Can't scare me. Come out. Look what I found.
story said, patience. Haven't you got anything better to do? little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. Oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. Never mind, there it goes. You know, Nil, if you get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides, I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Cards are going to last, if you're in for the kill. We've come a long way from Norland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. 
Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just open themselves to accept my arrows. But you knew this already. You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings, I hope. Goodbye, now. I don't want to alarm you, but the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course, once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nil. right into that. Back to your business. Corrupted watchers. Back to these gods. The eclipse and corrupted machines. Come on. Unhappy family. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark.
The clips, just like you said. Forged dirt delvers made off with any witches long ago, but not the ancients buried in the ground.
They're giving up. These dig sites, they're massive. freezes again.
might prove a challenge.
have they been uncovering here? Explosion. Another explosion. Quick about it. No game Has to be one of the Deathbringers Owen talked about. Fitting name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first.
Looks like I'm clear. Disabled his focus. The rest is up to you. I'll handle it. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. Focus. Let's see what's on it.
Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to black court standard. Your words. Look. If you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They need codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. 
And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Ferro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So, they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Ferro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Even old death. Nothing natural. get through. Okay. 
bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are be- Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow SP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base. Even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models and you've got the workhorse of any cutting-edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines.
Forget about traveling light. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. The began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Timor Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Hmm. <laughs> 
anymore. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. to deploy item privileges to recover purge data. Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. 
Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, listen. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. made her solution so terrible. What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <sighs> this... This doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence, that's my name. 
Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. <sighs> All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom, with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no, I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? 
Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn.
does it. Well, you're fun. Get out of this.
Not going down fast. No space. I'll find a use for you.
ingots in the gold, like machines covered in gems. Good effort. You can try again, but I'd rather you didn't. If you can freeze enough machines and take them down, I'll consider it a pass. Got it. Slide down a rope so I can start timing. That's it. I'm already gone. A full sun on your first try. If I hadn't seen it myself, I would have said you must have cheated.
In this trial, you'll need to stun bellow backs with shock ammo and shoot off the components in their undercarriages. Get going. Good luck with that. Slide down a rope and we can get started. You want a blazing sun. Congratulations. Does this mean you'll be on your way? Finally. You have the three marks you need to enter the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. Why don't you go there? Right now. I'm not interested in a trial right now. Just what...
The savior of the Sun King. You would have the marks. Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. The savior of the Sun King. You would have the marks. Very well, then. Good. Am I a member? No. To join? So I... Yes. I've overcome more saw. Upstairs. What do you mean? You'll see. Machine Rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the Savage Lands. The Sacred Land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. I believe I made myself perfectly clear. Sending killers after the Sun King. Ugh. You're Talana? Bessie said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off, too? It's okay. I've dealt with worse. Hmm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the lodge. The highest ranking asshole, sorry, member. He's taken down ravagers, stalkers, behemoths. So, I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sun Hawk. How does one become a hawk? 
When a hog dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Avad's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. We are new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet yeah, here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? You've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freehold. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. You're that Nora who saved the Sun King. You'd help my family? Oh, but it may be too late. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. 
The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. his life. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. later.
out of our... Them soon enough. That'll help. Party little plant. You'll help. <laughs> 